Well, um, today was interesting. So I had an appointment in person booked for about two months with my doctor. And I booked a ride last week so I could get to the appointment. And this morning I get a call going, we have no available drivers. We cannot take you to your appointment. And I was like, well, why didn't you notify me yesterday? And the person that I was on the phone with was like, well, there was no one available yesterday. But I wanted to wait today to to just make sure that there was like, she was like, I wanted to wait just in case somebody became available today. But like no one was available. So I had to reschedule my doctor's appointment. Um, and the next appointment that she could see me in person that I would be able to make it is November 4th. However, I did get the in-person appointment today switched over to virtual. Um, and for whatever reason, the um, office denied my psychiatry referral. Both me and my doctor are not unused. I I was like, what the fuck? And she has the same sentiment um, as me. And comfort care referrals um, are, she thinks, are only um, for cancer patients because she tried to send one a while ago. Um... But yeah, she 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 thinks that they're only taking cancer patients, and I'm like, but I I need comfort care because of my you know chronic illness crap. Um, so that happened. Um, some good happened though. She's keeping my pain my um, pain med dosing where it is right now. Um. And we're gonna, she's, um, like, fa faxing a thing to my facility where I can take, um, some pain meds before, um, it, it, she's, she's basically extra pain meds for transportation, um, with places, cause transportation hurts, cause, like, when I take, um, when I go to appointments or whatever, um, because I'm bed bound, I go in a stretcher, so I end up going in the back of an ambulance when I go to in person appointments. And ambulances aren't really built for comfort, so like you're in the back of an ambulance on a gurney on a bumpy road, and it just hurts like hell. Um, so, um, I got that sorted out where I can you know take extra pain meds for transport purposes. Um. But, you know, those are the good things that happened the days at least I saw her. And I got a pain med situation sorted out. But just, just, I am still frustrated about the whole, you know, situation about the no drivers available. I understand that people get sick and, you know, things happen. I would have just preferred more notice than just this morning because like the the manager head caregiver he's a he's an rn and he was you know coming to get me and he has to like whenever you know i make an appointment or whatever he has to come with me each time so he has to set time aside you know in order to make sure he can come with me so he basically had, like, almost, like, the whole fucking day set aside so he could be with me in that appointment. But because the drivers, because of the sudden notice of the driver's unavailability, you know, it's it's just not fair. It not only affects me, but affects other people. So, you know, that it's done, it's over with, you know. I can hope for better next time. Tomorrow's another day.
you know. Yeah. It's, yeah, just things happen, I guess, but it's it's so frustrating. Yeah, I will talk to you a lot later. Bye.